This Pennsylvania girl named Emily Whitehead just turned seven, a feat that not only has her family overjoyed, but doctors extremely hopeful for other cancer patients. You see, Emily was dying from this rare and aggressive leukemia that was defying all treatment. So her parents, really with no other choice, they put her in this trial program. Doctors used Emily's own immune cells and re-engineered them to fight the cancer. But this is the thing. This cancer treatment is so brutal, it made her so, so sick before possibly curing her. I want you to hear what her father told CBS about their family's darkest hour. She is as sick as you can get. You know, they said, you, you should call your family in. Um, there's a pretty good chance she won't be here in the morning. And now look at Emily. Doctors at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia say um, they, they detect no cancer in her even after eight months. Let me bring in senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen, who I was just telling in commercial break. I read this in the paper yesterday and just it blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. It, it really is because these are patients, 12 patients like Emily, who had tried either everything or nearly everything. You know, they'd done the chemo. They'd done what they were supposed to do for their leukemia or for their lymphoma. Nine out of the 12 saw some form of response. And this is like some form of the AIDS virus. Yes. Did they explain that. That's right. Someone said to me, oh, is this another form of chemo? I'm like, no, 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 no. Something totally different. So what they do is that they use a form of the AIDS virus, obviously change so that it doesn't give you AIDS. Right. And you change it and you do the therapy such that it actually affects the genes of your T cells. And your T cells are your attack cells in your immune system. And it reprograms those T cells to attack cancer cells and the T cells, which up till now haven't been working very well, go, oh, I know what to do now. And they actually attack the cancer cells. Wow. Didn't work for everybody. You know, nine out of 12 had a response. She's been in remission for eight months. On the other end of the scale, there's someone who's been in remission for two and a half years. So, of course, if you, we all know someone who's been touched by cancer, um, you know, in, in a minute here, is this the kind of thing that anyone can think, okay, well, maybe my, my mother could try this or my, or my son could try this? No, th there's two issues. They okay. are really in the baby stages of this, and no one is talking about this as a cure at all, even in that ballpark. So we're talking about it just for leukemia and lymphoma at the moment. Okay. And as you heard her father say, it can make you really sick. Very, very sick. Very, very sick. So you're taking a risk. The only people who they'll do this on right now is people who've really tried pretty much everything else. Mm. So this isn't something, you know, gee, mom was just diagnosed with breast cancer. Let's do this. No okay. way, no how. This is an end of the own therapy and is still in the very beginning stages. Here's hoping it grows out of those stages. And exactly. Can help so many people. Well, it's a great think. proof of principle. That's what's exciting about Elizabeth it. Elizabeth Cohen, thank you very Thanks. much. And